Um, and I just saw the most horrendous video I have ever seen. It was, it was just amazing. And I, you know, I can't show all of it to you, but I can show clips. Cause the last time I even tried to show steals, I got a copyright claim. But I will give you the address where I found it. But um. Lately, I have been looking a lot into narcissism, and I have always had this theory, well not always, let's say the last 10-15 years, that if you scratch any problem, you're going to find a narcissist, or you're going to find some narcissist. And um, this video, to me, really did kind of, like, really agree with what I have been saying. So, uh, let me... Well, like I said, my thing was also to show you how everything that you see happening today was already written about or even illustrated for you in the Bible. So let me show you this, these scriptures at 2 Timothy 3, 1 through 5. And I generally use the King James Version. It says, This know also that in the last days perilous times shall come. For men shall be lovers of their own selves, covetous, boasters, proud, blasphemers, disobedient to parents, unthankful, unholy, without natural affection, truce breakers, false accusers, incontinent, fierce, despisers of those that are good, traitors, heady, high-minded, lovers of pleasures more than lovers of God, having a form of godliness but denying the power thereof, from such turn away. Now, I wanted to focus on, for right now, these last four words from such turn away now like I said the only two people in the other video the only two people I've ever really cursed at in my whole life was my ex-husband and my middle daughter I want to make sure you understand the daughter who passed we never even had an argument but the middle daughter seemed to just feel like I was just another woman in the street so you could talk to me like any other woman in the street. I came from, well, my father's people were part of, a, what is it, that Oklahoma Black Wall Street thing. And they had this ideal, even though they lost all their money, that you carried yourself with dignity. And they were pretty religious. My mother was, um, my mother raised me in the hall, the Kingdom Hall, and regardless of how much people might think you're crazy coming from the King Kingdom Hall, at least it did teach you that you need to study the Bible. You need to, it's not just a book, you just sit there and, and pick out one scripture and say, oh yeah, I know everything. You need to actually study. Now I think if you studied enough, you'll leave the hall, but that's another story. Well, you'll leave all religions, but that's another story altogether. My point is, I came from a generation that revered parents. That's your parents. You understand they may not be good parents, but for whatever reason, the Heavenly Father gave you to them to raise. That does not mean you allow them to kill you, but at the, on the other hand, you do recognize that the first parent is the Most High. So when you show them honor, even though they are imperfect, you are indirectly showing him honor and that you are submitting to his placement of you. Okay? That is the general concept. And like I said, I know that I'm from a generation, another generation. My generation's major thing was if you came from a poor background, what you wanted to do was grow up and buy your mother a house. That was the height of your ambition. If you could do that, you would pat yourself on the back and say, I've, I've done what I came here to do, at least a large portion of it. But the children we raised do not have that ideal. And I think part of the reason is my generation believed very much in corporal punishment of children. Now, I know that you're not allowed to say, I'm not saying it's good or bad, but I am saying that most people who got spanked grew up respecting their parents. Now that it is, well when it first came out, don't spank your kids, you'll get arrested. People, some people tried to rebel against it and you know, had problems. But if you look at the way society was back then, and I'm speaking about black America, 
when you look at the way we were then as opposed to how we are now I think you can kind of see we were better then a lot of the things that we have been told were good for us like uh, integration when you really look at it in retrospect no nah, it really wasn't I mean with integration a lot of black people lost their businesses and their jobs because they relied on having black clientele when black people could say well I don't have to go to your little store I can go to this downtown store and they got bigger lights and more products and everything and I pay more but you know it's got a label on it you know once that happened we lost a lot of businesses and even when Black Wall Street tried to regrow tried to rebuild rather it couldn't not to the state that it wasn't before because integration and again we take it for granted now well you should never spank a child well my grandmother used to say if you don't spank them when they grow up they'll spank you but uh, let me go on with what I made the video to show you before I do that the reason why I wanted to highlight these four words from such turn away is because in the course of a lifetime you might have a few boyfriends or girlfriends or whatever regular friends or whatever but the children that you have might be the hardest to turn away because it is kind of especially I think in women you know maybe that's debatable but this is a child that you carried inside your body for nine months that child could not go anywhere without you could not do anything without you depended on you for everything whatever they heard it was coming through your body whatever food they had it came through you so when you push that child out in the world there is still this bond and even then if you nurse the baby only you can do that I mean only a woman can do that preferably the woman who gave birth to him the point I'm making is if you find out that this child is a narcissist, is someone who is setting out in life to torture you, you also have to turn away from them. And that may be more difficult than turning away from any other person. Because your parents, it's not that you want to, you always want to honor your parents because of what I just said. They went through things for you to be here especially your mother if the only thing she ever does for you is give birth to you she's done more for you than any other human being will do so you can turn away even from them people turn away from mates every day of the week I mean that's I mean it may not be easy but people sleep with people and walk away from them like they never existed all the time but that child that was a part of your body that had to get all their nourishment from you that might be the hardest person to just walk away from but the point is when you read these scriptures it didn't say do this for everybody but your children it said from such every such turn away so let me continue well I mean that is if they are out to torture you which is pretty much what narcissists are out to do they do hate you it tells you the devil comes but to steal kill and destroy so the Bible is a very succinct book even though it's a very large collection of books every word has meaning and every word that's not there you know it's a reason is not there or at least it's implied there and this from such is telling you every kind of such it didn't come right out and say well if it's a bad boss if it's a bad spouse if it's a, no from anybody who's acting that kind of crazy you gotta cut them loose okay I found this video on mother and daughter square up on Facebook live twice the ghetto the mademoiselle and you'll see it at the mademoiselle okay now, apparently this young lady here is a 20 year old she has like a two or three year old baby boy and she's living at home with her mother now the mother is very loudly complaining that this girl here won't or this woman here isn't pulling her weight as far as cleaning up at the house or taking care of her child now usually this 
young lady here is on the cell phone while her mother's talking. And that is also irritating the mother. And this pose here, I'm pretty sure it's just comfortable for her, but I know that this is an occultic pose. And you see it on um, Michael Jackson cover where he's sitting like that. But anyway, that's an aside. But in any case, the mother is really going off about this young lady not doing anything or not assisting. And then they go into this conversation about the mother's boyfriend, how he's paying the bills, which I don't really see what that has to do with anything. And uh, they're doing all this on Facebook Live so people can be entertained by the, by the complete lack of respect. Now, the person who's showing the video, that is the... <laughs> I hope that won't get me a strike or anything. But the woman whose um, video this is, the Mademoiselle, is pretty much saying that, well, it's the mother's fault because, you know, she should have raised her daughter better. She should have got her parenting classes and she should have done this, that, or the other. And that is a problem if this young lady is a narcissist or is just displaying some narcissistic traits. That's the problem that people often have with narcissists that no matter what you do with them you will be blamed if she says you know what daughter you still my blood and all but you know you you're of age you have difficulties with contributing and you also have no respect for me so therefore get out now the problem with saying that is that if you say it like I said it of course you will be ignored but and even her screaming was pretty much ignored but um the thing with a narcissist is you pretty much don't want to say anything like that. You don't want to get into this heated argument because they love heated arguments. They want you to argue with them. They are great at arguing. They can be dead wrong and will win an argument with you. During my disco days, I went to a disco and of course we used to give fake names but for some reason this guy I gave my real name and then had to argue with him because he insisted that if I didn't want to give him my real name I shouldn't give why am I just lying to him what I mean this is one time I, I I'm telling the truth this is my real name but whatever my point is don't argue do not argue and sometimes you have to just like this person may not be looking at you and thinking of you as a parent, as the person who took care of me, as the person whose home I'm living in, who's, as the person whose home my child is living in. If I'm not working as the person who is providing food and heat and everything for me, yes, you may be getting seriously on my nerves. You are not perfect. There may be times when you are totally wrong. but. I still owe you. I will always owe you. And I guess that's probably the difference between the baby boomer generation. Like I said, our biggest aspiration was I want to buy my house. I want to buy my mom a house. You know, dad often wasn't around, but your thing was, well, mom took care of me. Now, when I was out in the field counseling and I kind of admired some of my patients or some of my members or clients because they their mothers might have become crackheads but they were still yeah I see my mom out on the corner doing some stuff but soon as she stopped that's my mom I'm gonna do this for her I'm gonna help my mom okay maybe that was uh what came after the baby boomers whatever generation I think generation X that was generation X that still had some sort of loyalty I kind of think this next generation feels like, screw mom, she better not mess with whatever it is I'm trying to do. And if a person does not have loyalty to the person who brought them <clears throat> excuse me, into this world and is still continuing to contribute to their upkeep, you can't really expect much else from them. And when it gets to that point, it's no point in arguing because like I said, they like arguing. That's one thing people don't know or don't understand about narcissists. You cannot really win an argument with them. Even if you think 
I made my point. I shut them up. They won't be coming back. Yes, they will.